Greetings. This is Monish Taneja of the Avaya Client Services team. Today we'll be discussing about how to enable finest level traces for DMCC API on Avaya Application Enablement Services Server. DMCC stands for Device, Media, and Call Control. As the name suggests, the A Services DMCC service enables access to communication managers, device, media, and third-party call control functionality. Device control allows applications to manipulate and monitor the physical aspects of devices such as button presses, lamps, display, and the ringer. Media control allows applications to access the RTP data for the purpose of recording or analysis. A services server can record and play back WAV format files when it is managing the media stream for a device. Call control allows applications to perform basic third-party call control, such as placing calls, creating conference calls, deflecting calls, reconnecting calls, and monitoring call control events. In case of DMCC-related issues, we can enable the finest level traces for DMCC API, which helps investigate from the AES end. In order to enable finest level traces, we need to modify dmcc loginer properties file using the VI editor. This file is found at the location slash opt slash mweb slash conf. We need to make changes to three handlers in the loginer properties file, that is global, file, and thread handler. After making the changes, we need to restart the Java process related to login.properties file. You can find out the Java process using the command ps space minus ef space pipe space grep space java. This command will show you all the running Java processes on the AES. You need to look for dmcc hyphen login dot properties file in the output of that command in order to figure out the related Java process. Then use the process ID to restart the process. The command to restart the process is kill space minus 12 space process ID. After restarting it, you can go to slash opt slash mvap slash logs to check if the changes are implemented. In the logs folder, you can do tail minus f to dmcc hyphen trace dot log dot zero file. This will show you the output of the file and you can see the log level to change to finest. In order to revert the changes, please go to dmcc login or properties file and change the level back to fine for three handlers we had changed earlier. I'll show you this in one of my lab servers now. Log into AES with a user with super user permission, then go to conf folder using the command cd space opt mvap conf. Using the LL command, you can see the content of the directory. We need to make changes to login our properties file using the VI editor. In the login our properties file, we'll be making changes to three handlers as discussed earlier. Firstly, it is global handler. We'll change the level to finest. Secondly, it's the thread handler. Again, we'll change the le level to finest. Thirdly, it's the file handler. In the file handler, we can also increase the number of trace files. We can increase or decrease the size of the trace, each trace file. So first we'll change the level to finest. Now file handler limit is for the size of each trace file. Count is the number of files. DMCC hyphen trace.log is the name of the trace files. After making the changes, you can save and exit. In order to save and exit, you can use the command colon wq exclamation. In order to exit without saving, the command is colon q exclamation. After making the changes, we need to restart the Java process related to DMCC locking.properties file. To figure out the process, you can use the command ps space minus ef space pipe space grep space java. It will show you all the Java processes on AES. So we need to figure out which process out of these is related to DMCC login.properties. So we will look for the 
term dmcc hyphen login or properties in all the java processes showing here once we figure out the term login or properties here we will check for the process id related to that specific process here it shows uh, 5802 is the process id in order to restart the java process kill space minus 12 space process id is the command after restarting the process now you can check if the changes are implemented or not you can go to the logs folder that is opt mvap logs using the command cd space opt mvap logs here you will find dmcc hyphen trace dot log there will be 0 to 19 that is 20 files so you do tail minus f to dmcc trace dot log and you will see the log level change to finest in order to revert the changes i mean disable the logging you can change back the level to find in the dmcc login or properties file and then restart the java process again for your time today i hope uh, this information was useful we welcome comments questions and feedback at uh, mentor.tawai.com or on twitter at tawai mentor also for further details please visit support.tawai.com thank you have a great day